Hey now, this is a segment from my other podcast, Unsocial Spectators, with me and Mark Ramsey, talking about a movie I was really excited to talk to him about. Luckily, he had seen it. It's Andrew Garfield in Under the Silver Lake. I, and then I got one more weird film. This is super weird, and I kind of want to recommend this if you can find it so that we can talk about it more, because I, I, I'm not sure I fully understand it. <laughs> It's one of those kind of films. Under the Silver Lake. Oh, yeah. I've seen it. Oh, okay. Good. I, then I totally, talk... totally love that film. Wow. Like, okay. So you've got um, Spider-Man. Andrew yeah. Garfield. Garfield, who's kind of a burnout, who uh, just is living in this apartment. When he meets this chick, it, they kind of have a connection. And then she disappears, and he goes looking for her. Right. And in doing so, he discovers that there are hidden messages all in pop culture. In, yeah. In all and, different... And things. he runs into this uh, this guy. There's a map to all the stuff on cereal boxes. Yeah. And so it's one of those where you go... But then they also... He also adds elements of the film to make you think there are things in this film. Right, that are clues because, like, even Andrew Garfield, like he has, he has like a Spider-Man comic when he goes to read the Zine, and then later he has the same Spider-Man comic stuck to his hand, like he's Spider-Man and he can't get it off. What her name is in the film, but she's like Elvis's granddaughter that plays a character in the film that's like tied to a family. Oh yeah, Riley Keough. Riley Keough, and uh, but it's it it really. <laughs> At times, you can just say it's it's uh, Spider Man fucking a lot because he does get laid yeah. a lot in this film. It's wild to be just a burnout in L.A. because he just gets laid at, all the time. Um, and it's L.A. man, you know. And he goes to these parties and he sees, uh, like he sees Sydney Sweeney, who's an actress in a movie that he's watching uh, at a like a park. And no, no, that's a cemetery. Oh, cemetery. That's what it was. Yeah. That's what it was. It was a cemetery. They're watching this film. And then he sees him. He's like, hey, are you the actresses in this film? And then later she discovers one of them's an escort, you know, and uh, sure. And she's like, well, that was my first movie, you know, and that doesn't pay the bills and everything. But it all it, it, it's like he's it's such a conspiracy nut film that everything makes sense that he wants to. To make sense, yeah, you know dude, I, mean? I really love that film. It's really up my alley, my kind of shit, because I like the idea of Hollywood being in the underground of Hollywood, which is what it's really about, you know. Yeah, yeah, and then he meets the guy who has basically made the hit songs for the last. 50, 60 years, and he's yeah. just playing them on the piano. And yeah. that is so wild because he's just like, he'll go from like the Backstreet Boys uh, to Bruce. Yeah, Spears. he's written every hit song. And somehow there are still codes in that. Sure. And even when I was researching it and looking about the film, he had someone who helped create codes working on the film so there might be even more in it so that drives me to want to watch it again to see what the fuck is this guy talking about yeah it's definitely a rewatch of yeah. both film you know yeah because you get into it and like like it, like when he finds the nintendo power magazine he's just really looking for something that works and that works for him you know but it still sure. leads him to something to believe that all these are codes that are hidden in things so I, I, the only problem I have is it's a little too long because like I was kind of ready for it to wrap up at one point and then it just kept going. Yeah. You know, cause when he meets the the guy with the three women, uh, in the, uh, the shack fucking weird, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's th this is probably my favorite weird movie this week, uh, that I would really watch and rewatch because it's really strange to see. Andrew Garfield is really good in this. And I like his American accent. He's able to do a really good American uh, voice. Yeah, this is definitely one I recommend to people. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm glad you've seen it. 